up guys, it's Mikey to Memo here and welcome to my YouTube channel and most of all welcome to my Gothic 3 playthrough. Uh, the playthrough of the Dark Mage Hashishin, also known as the Servant Belear, and welcome to episode oh dear, 14 part um, 3? Wow, it's really wrong, but uh, I'm not quite sure. Part 3, I'm pretty sure, 90 ish percent sure that's part 3. But uh, welcome, nevertheless. We're gonna continue where we left off in the last area, which was searching for the artifacts of the guardians of the dead at the temple of Al Shaddim. Now, I already have the house of the priests done as well as the uh, guardians of the dead I am and ancient library so this is actually part 4 not part 3 but now we're gonna do the healers quarters just for the uh, I think it were the tankards of the healers which are just like the urns of the guardians of the dead you know vases I'm gonna explore this now the key you cannot find here the one that has it is Lester. I already got it, so I don't need it. And afterwards, we're gonna go to the Warrior School. So, without further ado, let's get this done. Let's go, Lester and Skalatun. Wootris sent me. We're attacking the orcs. Really? The orcs? Oh, man. Have you seen how many there are of them? Are you afraid? Of course I'm afraid. It's our asses on the line. Everything will be all right. Great. Now I feel so much better. Are you going to fight or not? Ah, oh, heck. Why not? Of course I'll fight. For Adenos, to the death. PC, relax, man. There's literally nothing on in the background. <laughs> well, apart from Steam and OBS and the game, but holy shit, man, what is your problem? Holy camoly, Lester. Holy camoly.
me first make doubly sure there are no tankers left in this side of the rooms. Because otherwise I get confused, you know. So I always make sure to check out each individual rune piece by piece, looting all the plants to indicate that I haven't been or that I have been there. Because if there are plants it gets more confusing, you know. So I use it as a, some sort of a marker for clear. Right, so I got now three tankards, and I think there were six or seven. I'm not quite sure how many. Even though I beat it this game twice already, you know, well... On record, I beat the game twice. Off record, I beat it this game too many times. And still, I know, don't know exactly how many they are but that's because of the fact that once you've got them all you know you get a quest completed pop-up which is some sort of a hidden quest if you will Where the hell is Lester? Did you kill him, skeleton? Oh, he's there, okay. This is the area of the warriors. Oops. So I'm not gonna pick up the figurines yet, otherwise I get totally confused. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> I hate those beasts. Right, so I'm not supposed to be here yet.
because this is the area of the warriors, the figurines, you know, figurines the warriors, the uh, warrior cast, if you will. But the reason why I'm not gonna loot them is, you know, it could be that this video is gonna be, let's say, 30 to 45 minutes. But if I loot the fi one figurine of the warrior, I have to loot them all, which could ex extend the video to one and a half hours. Depends on how long I take in order to get this one done. So I, I keep them separately, you know, for better purposes. Otherwise, you guys will get confused, and most certainly I will get confused. I hate those beasts. When that side is the warrior's cast, but I will kill the motherfucker. Cannot reach them, skeleton.
got now five tankers with the healers, ten urns with the guardians with the dead. Only three. Oh lol, I thought I had more. So I think I need about two more. I think. Five tankers for the healers, got them. And we're 70 minutes in, so uh, let's go to the figurines of the warrior cast. Let me first see if I can get my skeleton out of that trance. I'll summon a new one when I need it. One second guys, I need a, a drink. Okay, so now I've got all the keys except for the one that is in the position of Saturus the Water Madoshi, the Mizu Madoshi. And I think there were about seven, seven figurines of the warriors, something like that. But again, you know, now I started collecting them, so I must collect them all before I stop this part of the episode. Because the the next part will most definitely be the uh, Temple of Al Shadim, that much is for certain. But we're getting closer and closer to gaining a access to the great city of Ishtar. Well, if it is a great city, it's to be the but you know is uh dependent on your view sorry about that but uh i killed a fly yeah fucking annoying beasts another stone tablet nice it's very nice Now these figurines are pretty easy to miss, they're not that large, you know, at some locations like on the wall and on the stairs they're obvious, but sometimes you just overlook them. The best way to collect all those items by pinpointing them exactly is with the power of the telekinesis, you know. Sure if there are plants around etc that could conflict the search basically, but you cannot pl miss plants, so you can only ignore those basically. There's another figurine right there. Well, I have to get a. Uh oh, I remember these motherfuckers. All right, let's see if uh, Lester will remain standing here. Will he backtrack in order to get there, or what will happen? Backtrack, okay. A 
Lester, buddy. Wow, ya, yeah, buddy. Come on, buddy. Do I have cure disease? No, I do have transfer disease. Well, that didn't do much. What's worth the shot, you know? <sighs> Miserable beast. Not a successful one, but certainly was worth the shot. many figurines five so I need about two more I think because this area is relatively small compared to the others
done. I hate those beasts. Six, and there is somewhere else where I miss one, at least. Over there, probably. Take that, rotten beast! Still miss one, at the very least. Uh, but pretty much checked everywhere. Well. Of which I can recall it anyway.
there is somewhere one warrior figurine that I missed in the area that I already checked. So I'm using the telekinesis spell to guide me. Well, not using it yet, Paul. Like I said earlier, you know, they're pretty easy to miss since they're so small compared to the others. They can be literally everywhere. Now the ruins of this area are not that really that big and it's only this section that you have to check but it's still pretty easy to miss you know but I believe there were seven figurines. So I'll just keep searching and searching until I got the motherfucker. Here it is. See how easy they're missable? Alright, so that were the artifacts. It is thanks to the telekinesis spell that I saw him, because I honestly didn't. How did she, the hell did this, did this get it there? of old age
the provoking part is in the next and the final part of this area what stop right there more you are no opponent for me i'll oh. tear your head off <sighs> why why did they I don't want to provoke them yet, you know. I just want to go to Saturus and get the last key. Probably because one of the nomads started fighting or being seen. That instantly triggered them to become red towards me. I'm gonna take a bit of a detour. This is a special breed, the Unicorn Ogre.
miserable beast. Very well done, by the way, Lester. Are you shooting me, ma'am? I've got the four remaining keys. Now what? We will hold the fort out here while you open the temple and draw no more attention to yourself than is necessary. Go in, get the artifact, and see to it that you come out again in one piece. No, sadly, you cannot heal me. Hmm. How much learning points do I have? 22 Each knowledge 154 I need 200 ASAP for mana regenerations But I also still need 6 strength Um, Let me vest it into each knowledge Teach me something about ancient magic You aren't ready for that. Good. That's the way. Carry on. Good. Carry on like that. The next level, I can learn how to shift from night to day and 24 more ancient knowledge.
Now I could use this, but uh, I will use the tablets once I have the absolute need to use it. By which I mean, you know, once the ancient knowledge cost me 10 learning points, I'm going to consume these tablets for their ancient knowledge instead of wasting 10 learning points on 5 ancient knowledge. Now as long as there's still 5, which is to about 200 I believe, I'm going to keep those in order to get there, you know. Because in the end, I have to get a ancient knowledge of 275, which is more than the rest with uh, balance on. This one requires 250, 250, 275. But these got 300 mana to cost, and this one cost 250. How much is my mana? Uh, mana, 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 mana. <laughs> 110 Ho To learn this one I need soul travel But to learn soul travel I need 220 knowledge Okay Does make any sense mister Now let's sleep till morning See what I can sell Show me your goods. Now the reason why I keep this sword is not for its damage, but due to the endurance. I'm gonna use it later to be able to complete the quest Tunnel Rumbler. Which uh, is a quest where I need to have about 200 endurance in order to withstand that uh, liquid But at least I get some gold in my pocket You got cure disease now I could make a cure disease, but that will cost me a healing potion, and I don't think it's uh, a worthful trade, if you will. Now we have to wait for Resta because before I'm gonna go to the temple. Wait here. All right, then I'll stay here. Before I'm gonna go there and uh, go to the next episode, so let me quickly go to the cities with a alchemist and uh, buy myself some healing potions. And see if I can find myself a cure disease. So I don't have to do that in the next episode because uh, the next part of this final, you know, it's gonna most, yeah, most definitely the final part of this particular episode. But I can't find the whole army of the undead but only a few potions. That's not gonna work. Show me your goods. Some mana potions would be useful as well, and give me that one, and wait, wait. Let me first get those two expensive motherfuckers. Mm. I don't think I have that many wild berries, I think I consumed them all manually. 
Yeah, so I don't really need those. Nah, I'm gonna focus on supplies right now. You know, at once I'm able to basically beat the game because there are still cities in Mertana where I have to go, like Silden, Gelden. Uh, I still have to go to Nordmar, you know, and I still have to go to Ishtar, so there will be plenty and plenty opportunity for me to get gold. And if I really need those recipes, then I will get them at that specific point. Also still have to compete in all cities in within the arenas. Only Bakaresh I competed a bit and Morasu, but that was because they're due to the lack of reputation. Thieving 30. Alright, so let's quickly go to the next city. Um, Cape Dawn is where we're at now. Montera. No, oh, Montera doesn't have an alchemist, by the way. <laughs> but we're still far not com done when it comes to beating Gothic 3. You know, we're still far, far away. The only thing where I'm close at is uh, the fact that I'm relatively close in getting access to each star. Doesn't get much worse. Same old story. I could also purchase some arrows, but Most of the arrows are not going to be effectful anyways versus the skeletons. Now if I have mana regeneration, the true abilities of this character basically begins. Because mana re regenerations allow me to, you know, use magic instead of the bow. And then once magic is depleted and has to replenish itself, then this guy will go, you know, full hand mode, f first person, PvP mode, well PvE actually, but you get my point. Sh oh, this should suffice for now. Do you have a uh, disease? Of course you don't. How many healing potions does it cost me to make one? One healing potion. I can miss that. Alright, so thank you guys for watching and if you like what you see, subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and if you do subscribe, hit the notification bell and I hope to see you guys in the final part of this episode where we're gonna enter the temple of Al-Shadim, get the robe of Adonis and be done in this area and then we will continue the journey within the desert which is uh, firstly, a uh, foe mostly getting all the quests done of the nomads that I can do slash the water mages and then I'm gonna kill the water mages for Gonzales as well as to kill them to gain access to the capital of the desert Ishtar which this is the only playthrough aside from a hardcore run in the future where I actually get access 
to uh, the city of Ishtar. But anyways, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys next time in the next part. You know, peace guys. See you guys next time.